Goose Creek, Goose Creek Traffic, Cherokee, November 6543, Whiskey is back taxing 2-2, two -two, Goose Creek. Well, hey everyone, welcome back to this week's video. I say this week's video, even though I have actually not flown for about two months, I'm helping my mom move. But now that that's over, uh, well, partially over, I'm back at the airport, hoping to uh, jumpstart some weekly flights here. Today's flight's going to be a relatively short one. Uh, four flight has it at 30 statute miles and 16 minutes. It's from uh, my home field of Goose Creek uh, Airport, 28 Alpha, south of Charlotte, over to Pageland Airport. Uh, Pageland is uh, just over the border in South Carolina. Uh, it's a beautiful cloudless day, windless day here on a Saturday morning, so I'm really looking forward to it, and I hope you guys enjoy. We reached the other end of the runway. Let's go ahead and do our takeoff configuration and our run-up and get on out of here. Parking brake, set, controls, free, and clear flaps uh, set to one. Uh, it's a beautiful morning today. It's not that hot. Uh, I'm by myself. Uh, tanks are about two-thirds full each, so I should be able to easily get over the trees with just one set of flaps. Trim, neutral. Mixture, full, car heat, off, transponder, altitude, uh, in-flight instruments, check. I uh, set those while the aircraft was warming up. Fuel tank. They're both equal, so I'm going to leave it on the right tank for now. Electric fuel pump on. Looking good. Engine instruments are all in the green, except for oil temperature. Aircraft is still warming up. Seat belts fastened. Door latched. Door is latched. And let's go to run up. We'll run this up to 1,800 RPM. And then we'll check the mags, carpet, and suction. All right, let's go ahead and check the right mag. We're at 1,800. Nice and steady, good drop of about uh, 100. Back to both. We're at 1,800. Now let's check the left. Good smooth drop of about 100, 110, so back to both. We'll go ahead and check the carb heat. Good drop of about 40, 50 from my angle, looking good, and obviously there's no ice. We got suction at five, which is looking good. All the instrument, engine instruments are in, in the green, and we'll go ahead and throw, throttle back down. And then I like to do an idle check just to make sure she doesn't stall out on me when I idle it. So let's go ahead and just check these items off. Right, left, carb, carb, suction, all instru engine instruments are in the green. Let's go ahead and do an idle check. Idling steady at a little under 650, and she doesn't stall out on me, so back to 1,000. All right, we are good to go. All right, a quick check down the runway. No one coming in, no one down the runway, no one coming in on this side, so we'll go ahead and Call for takeoff and get on out of here. Goose Creek Airport, Cherokee. Piper Cherokee, November 6543. Whiskey is taking off 22, departing the pattern on a left turn, heading 159. Goose Creek. Quick cross check. Got flaps, trim, RP, and mixture is full. Let's go ahead and power up. Oil pressure is good. Takeoff RPM is good and steady. Speed is alive. 50, 60, 65, 70, rotate. We'll climb out here at 75 miles an hour until we get over the uh, obstacles. And once we get over the obstacles, which are the trees at the other end of the runway, I'm gonna go ahead and drop the flaps from one to zero. And she should, on her own at this pitch angle, uh, increase her speed to 85. All right, we've cleared the obstacles, flaps one to zero. Keep the nose where it is, and the speed is slowly creeping up. 85. And 
and let's uh, go ahead and left turn this on course. All right, we're climbing out here pretty nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and go into cruise climb. I'll lower the nose just a little bit so I get visual and trim just to decrease a little bit of the uh, pressure on the yoke. Uh, fuel pump is, electric fuel pump is off. We still have fuel pressure and uh, we're good to go to climb up to 3,500 feet for our short flight today. All right, we're about 17 uh, miles out, eight and a half minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, dial in to the nearest weather reporting station to Pageland, which is Sherrod. So I'm gonna go ahead and listen to their AWOS and find out what's going on there. Sherrod Municipal Airport, automated weather observation, one, three, four, zero, Zulu. Wind, calm, visibility, more than one, zero. Sky condition, clear, below 1, 2,000. Temperature, 2, 1 Celsius. Dew point, 1, 5 Celsius. Altimeter, 3, 0, 0. Niner inches of mercury. All right, the nearest weather reporting station is Sure Raw's AWOS has winds calm. The runways at Pageland are... 0, 06 and 24. So I'm going to go ahead and dial in into their uh, common frequency and see if there's anybody around. I'm going to go ahead and call in and ask for an advisor and see if they're using any runways. If they're not using any runways, I think I'll go ahead and come in on 2-4. I took off from Goose Creek on 2-2, two -two, so uh, I figured I'd just take off on uh, or land on 2-4 since it's in the same direction. So I'll go ahead and dial in now and see what's going on. Pageland traffic, Piper Cherokee, November 6543 Whiskey is 12 miles to the north inbound for a full stop. Request advisory, Pageland. All right, I called into the common frequency. I didn't hear uh, anything, so that means nobody's home. So I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and, and approach uh, Pageland as intended uh, for runway 24. Um, if you can see my, my four flight here, uh, the way my, my direct route is taking me, it's taking me right into midfield. So I think what I'm gonna do is just follow the magenta line, cross over midfield and, and turn for a, a downwind at midfield for 24 and go ahead and uh, configure my approach and landing that way. Pageless traffic, Piper Cherokee, November 6543, Whiskey is seven miles to the north, uh, inbound for a uh, full stop. Uh, we'll be entering a midfield uh, for a downwind for 2-4 uh, once I get closer. Pageless. All right, I have visual on the airport. I'm just about ready to cross midfield. I'll go ahead and call it in. Still got a couple hundred feet to drop to get to pattern altitude, but there's nobody here, so it's okay that I'm dropping in a little late. Pageland traffic, Piper Cherokee, November 6543, Whiskey is crossing midfield for uh, left uh, downwind for 2-4. Pageland. All right, I'm just crossing over midfield and I'm going to be turning downwind at midfield, so I'm looking at the downwind leg. I don't see anyone. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until the airport sneaks out behind the flaps and then I'll go ahead and turn downwind. And there it is. Pageland traffic, Piper Cherokee 6543 Whiskey is turning downwind at midfield for a 2-4. Pageland. Now, this is a 3,300 foot paved runway. Um, I'm not worried about the length or really worried about anything per se. It's just it's been about six or seven years since I've flown into this airport. So what I think I'm going to do just to kind of familiarize myself with the approach is I'm going to take my downwind, I'm going to extend it a little bit and have a longer than normal, not very long, maybe by, by about a mile or so, um, uh, extend my my final uh, extend my downwind so that I can extend my final uh, that way I can kind of get a feel for how the approach feels on the uh, uh, on this particular runway all right so we just crossed the uh, numbers of beams so I'm going to go ahead and throttle down to 1700 trim up three times and pop one notch of flaps this is going to be a two flap landing usually I turn base when the uh, my touchdown zone is about 45 degrees out the back window but I'm going to extend this one out a little bit all right, I've extended a little bit. Now let's go ahead and turn base. Pageland traffic, Piper Cherokee 6543, Whiskey is turning base 24. Pageland. Traffic, Skyhawk 4671, Gulf is turning final 6. 
full stop, Ocean Isle. All right, this is when I like to set myself up. So we're a little fast, so I'm going to go ahead, and a little high, so I'm going to go ahead and throttle down. Hop two knots of flaps. I'm looking down final. I don't see anything, so which means final is all mine. Uh, there's nothing down the runway either, so that means when I'm ready, I can go ahead and turn final. Which is now. Pageland traffic, Piper Cherokee 6543, Whiskey is turning final 24, Pageland. All right, we're pretty good. I'll use the rudder to keep it down to center line. Speed is good. We'll trim up just a little bit to relieve some of the back pressure. Speed is about 75-80, which is nice. Light path is looking good. Lights are telling me I'm a little high, but that's okay. I think she'll sink right in with two flaps. Actually, I might need to give it just a little bit of power here. Speed is at uh, about 80, a little under 80. And we'll just go ahead and take the, some throttle out, use the rudder to keep it down to center line, and we're over the threshold, idle out, and roll out, hold it off, hold it off, hold it off, all right, that was a really smooth landing. Well, this is a really fun, enjoyable short flight, uh, it lasted, uh, I would say, between 15 and 20 minutes. Uh, beautiful clear blue skies, not a lick of wind anywhere. It was nice, it was relaxing. Um, it wasn't uh, too long where it got kind of tiring, but it wasn't too short where I feel like I missed out. So I, I had a lot of fun uh, flying and, and I had a lot of fun making this video and I hope you guys enjoyed too. Be sure to subscribe for more weekly videos. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.